Next, we're going to do high flow nasal cannula for the neonatal population. Rob Chapman, clinical coordinator, will be going over this device. Okay, high flow nasal cannula. Um, we primarily use these for neonates and pediatrics. Um, you'll set it up primarily on the second floor, sometimes in the ER. Um, it has a blender, two flow meters, one low, one high, and the heater. You have two sources of gas, oxygen and air, and a plug for your heater. You need to make sure that you have both of these plugged in at all times. If you have one, you will hear this. You need to have them both. We keep uh, setups for these pre-made so that we can set them up quickly and efficiently. So if you use one, please make sure that you rebuild one for the next person. You use everything in this bag except for one small adapter, your heater. We'll set that up, your heater canister. Your injector. And your circuit. You'll see the small, just a small little piece that's left. So your circuit comes in two pieces. And it's set up with the adapter on the long piece. This is for use if you're not using an isolate. If you are using an isolate, take the adapter off, put the extension on. It'll only go one way. Put your adapter on the end of that. This is to keep the temp probe outside the isolate. Now take your, it'll only go one way. Put it on your heat, heater canister. Find your temp probes. Temp probes are blue. These are going to interface with the patient or will be exposed to the patient. So you want to make sure they're clean, especially if they've been sitting for a little while and exposed to the elements. You have a proximal and a distal. Proximal is going to be closest to the patient. No, I'm sorry, distal is going to be closest to the patient. So this one's going to go as far away as you can. There's only one place it'll go. It just slides right in. Your proximal is going to be closest to the heater. So it's going to go on the end of this circuit. It'll only go in one way. It has a little V-notch. It'll only allow you to place it in one way and in one direction. Make sure that you take your water lines out before you place all this. It's impossible to get out. So just replace your injector and your circuit. So you have your heater. Probes are in line. You have a circuit. This is what interfaces with the patient. It's their nasal cannula and their circuit. Next, you have to provide oxygen. So we're high flow. So we're gonna go on the high flow side. Connect your oxygen tubing to your injector. So now you have oxygen coming from the gas source to the setup. Otherwise, there's nothing flowing to it. All right. So there are two more connections to make, but I'm going to show you something else before we do it. So we're going to spike our water. That should come in your bag as well. Just open it, spike the punch, hang it. Make sure you have water in your canister. Turn your heater on. It's going to default to ET tube. It's alarming. That means we have something either hooked up wrong or not hooked up at all. So you have a proximal and a distal. On the ventilator, you use the distal, but we don't use it on the high flow. You just have the three prong proximal and it connects into the back of your circuit. Now you notice the alarm's gone because we plugged it in. 
heater automatically defaults to ET tube. We need to make sure we push the button, hold it till it beeps, and now it's non invasive. That way, the temperature will be appropriate. Well, once we have it set up, we'll put in the settings the physician has ordered 40%, two liters. Check for flow. You're ready to place it on the patient.